Meet Ray One Galaxy, the world's first spiral full range of vision IOL. We spoke to Mr. Alan Barsum, one of the galaxy's first in eye surgeons, for his initial impressions of the newest member of the Ray One platform. So lens replacement surgery, the patient expectation is total independence of glasses. They're fed up with the requirement of glasses for distance, the increasing burden of near and intermediate glasses or contact lens dependence normally tips them over and they want to be independent at all ranges of vision for all of their functions of daily living. For presbyopia correction, the one that we most commonly used are either increased range of focus lenses. So in my practice, I, I love the Ray1 EMV lens for this um, and also trifocal lenses. In order to achieve spectacle independence, you have to target a level of uh, monovision. And the issue with monovision can be um, achieving refractive target. When you are going for a monovision target with one eye hard zero and the other eye, let's say, minus a half or minus one, if you don't achieve that target, then you normally don't achieve the aim. So the enhancement rate is higher. That's the main trade-off, I would say. The other, the other thing is nighttime vision. We all know with trifocal lenses, there's the dyspotoxia profile, uh, there's halos, there's glare, all of which can impact their ability to function at night, drive at night, function at low light level. The Ray-1 Galaxy is a spiral design. It's non-diffractive and it's designed and intended to provide a continuous range of vision. It manages to go from zero to a four diopters in terms of depth of focus for most levels of functional vision. And certainly across the range of zero to three, that is in terms of focusing ability, it, it's achieving almost 0.0, .0 log mar. So that's fantastic vision distance, intermediate and near without any peaks or trade-offs. And more significantly, because of the fact that it's uh, non-diffractive and there are no kind of etched rings on the surface like they are with a trifocal with significantly less halo and glare. So the patients that we've done are all form part of the, the first NI Ray-1 Galaxy study, which is part of the clinical advisory board of eight surgeons worldwide. So they are having a more rigorous outcome and analysis and assessment than our standard patients would be because we want to know everything we can about the lenses. So they have a one month and a three month extended follow-up, which includes not only visual acuity testing and optometric refraction, but also defocus curves and glare and halo um, simulation so that we know exactly what their dyspotoxia is like. And we are collecting their outcome, their own reported outcome measures and satisfaction via RayPro as well. So far, we have six patients who have come back to their one month follow-up um, and we've been really blown away by the outcomes. They've exceeded what our expectations were. Patients are seeing very well uncorrected at distance, near and intermediate. We've been surprised that Half of the patients who we've implanted this lens into are reporting no halo at all. And the other half, only mild halo, and no one is complaining of glare. So the dyspotopsia profile really is significantly better than what we see and would expect with a trifocal lens. And they're totally independent of glasses. And the interesting thing about our results is when you look at the defocus curve and compare it to the trifocal lens, there's no drop off around a half to one and a half or two diopters, which is the full intermediate range. So that's any patient that wants to be able to see their phone clearly, that wants to be able to see their laptop or their screen at work clearly. Other things, you know, if you ask patients carefully about trifocal vision, they find it really frustrating that when they're like approaching something from a distance that they need to see up close, they lose that vision in between. And a good example is when you're shopping. You know, if you're actually in the shopping area and you're approaching an item to look at it in more detail, they can't see it as they approach. They can see it from far and they can see it close for intermediate, but they lose it in between. So it does simulate more natural vision and allow for a more natural range of vision. So I can't think of a patient demographic who wouldn't benefit from this lens. There will be, as with all lenses, there will be eye factors or, you know, there will be contraindications to it, but there'll be less with this lens than they would be with a trifocal because the dyspotoxia profile is better. The learning curve is none. So it's this, exactly the same platform as, the, as all of the Ray-1 lenses. It's fully preloaded, uh, which means that there's literally nothing the surgeon needs to do. It's a one-handed injector system, smooth, easy, predictable. It's literally any surgeon that does cataract surgery could pick up this lens, put it in with, you know, two to three minutes of instruction at the beginning of the list from a representative. Certainly, I expect to be putting this lens in a lot. Um, I'm really excited that it's an, an additional part of the surgical tools I can offer patients.
and will allow me to increase patient satisfaction, reduce any causes of dissatisfaction. It's going to make my life a lot easier. It reduces chair time pre-optively, reduces chair time post-optively. Um, happy patient, happy surgeon. It's an honour that Rainer trusted me with the first implantation, um, but really they did all the hard work and the, the implantation is the, is the easy bit for which we get all of the, uh, all of the patient satisfaction we, we're able to benefit from as surgeons, which is really nice. The R&D team at Rainer has proven themselves over the last 10 years with multiple iterations of advanced technology lenses to be incredibly trustworthy in terms of their laboratory work, in terms of their early you know, clinical evaluation, and in terms of the way they structure and plan the clinical trials. Patient outcome, patient safety, doing the right thing for the patient is, is very clearly the number one priority of everyone in the organization. That comes before everything else. So that really, that lines up with my own philosophy. I mean, it, it comes a lot down to trust. And I know them, I trust them, and I, and, I, and I felt I already knew how this lens would perform before I ever put the first one in, um, which gave me incredible confidence, made it very easy to counsel patients as well. It's been 75 years since Rayner and Sir Harold Ridley pioneered the first intraocular lens, and much has changed. At ESCRS 2024, Rayner proudly introduced Ray1 Galaxy, the world's first spiral IRL and the newest addition to the Ray1 platform. Offering a full range of vision with minimized dysphotopsia, Ray1 Galaxy opens up a new dimension of possibilities for spectacle independence, bringing IOL technology into the modern era. For more information on how to add the Ray1 Galaxy to your presbyopia correcting IOL portfolio, speak to your local Rayner representative today.